guys and welcome back i'm pope john paul and we're here with another part of our mini series for the rise of mordor and if you haven't watched the last one i do recommend you go and check it out um it's a great battle um lots of action and uh it shows off the great fives of gondor uh, mod which we are using again today um obviously this is dol amroth as you can see here with the main mod main sub mod so they are being used alongside uh, lebanon inside uh, the city so in the story of today's battle dol amroth has come to the aid of the king and the prince is now marching forward with his army to take out the lebanon uh, rebels, basically. This is the garrison of Lebanon, the uh, the si their capital city, and since their army is out on campaign, uh, obviously trying to usurp the throne, this is what is left. Um, so we don't have much. I mean, there is a lot of them. It's quite close in numbers, but the quality is ever so slightly in Dol Amroth's favour. They still have some pretty elite troops, though. There are some port guard garrisoning the city. I'm not quite sure why everything is so bright. It is insanely bright for some reason. So, like, look at the let's see, look at the walls. Like, I mean, just look at them. They're glowing. They're glowing. So bizarre. But um, I have to ignore that and just pretend it's uh, it's not happening. But anyway, the uh, trebuchet. We have some trebuchets firing um, on the tower arch towers at the back to try and uh, damage them and. Uh, cause as few casualties as possible to the uh, to the Dol Amroth attackers so this will be so anyway yeah this is a probably going to be the second of maybe a three uh, four or five uh, part mini series so I hope you guys are enjoying and uh, yeah we're gonna well if you do then please leave a like a subscribe and a comment and we're gonna, let's see what happens in this one I mean we have the ram now moving up with some militia um, I mean, their officers don't look very militia-like, but hell, I guess they're officers. But I mean, here we go. We're going in now. Finally, we're giving up firing trebuchets, and we're going to just send in some uh, siege equipment. There is also a little out of town over here, which needs to be taken before we can really get into the city. So we will be fighting over this. There's not much defending here. There are some skirmishers and the some spears, and that news. is it. Oh, and the tower's fallen. That is good news. Oh, and some more spears. I don't know how I missed them. So this is going to be a bloody fight for the bl for the bridge. Um, looks like I'm sending forward some Am uh, Amruthian archer militia to so so soften up these uh, town guard that are valiantly defending. We have some Lebanon skirmishes to support. And we have some more royal guard here. Uh, not royal guard, port guard. With, uh, with swords, these ones. So these guys are probably going to be a huge issue um, for us to deal with. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's, we'll have a look in quickly over what uh, Dol Amroth is bringing to the battle. We have some Tarnosian Spearmen, um, Sea Ward Spear, Infantry, Knights of Silver Swan, Haven Guard, uh, um, uh, Arch Militia. We have some Tarnosian Marksmen. They look pretty damn cool. Um, we have some Coastal Sea Watch, which are more cheap sort of units. Um, and what else do we have? We have some Sea Ward Sword Infantry. They look like they're going to be our main infantry going in. We have some Prince Coast Guards, Prince's Coast Guards. So these are like the pikes that are going to be they're going to be needed for these choke points. And we've got some uh, some Nimrodel Rangers. And then we have and I think that's basically it. You're, I mean I haven't shown you every unit, but I'm sure you'll get a good look at most of these units as we go into the battle. Um, but here we go. We've got men on the walls now. We have some uh, Tarnosian spears on the wall fighting some Lebanon archers. A huge. Uh, Knock for the Lebanon straight away. They're going to use lose an archer unit, which they're going to desperately need to fire all those arrows into us uh, and inflict as many casualties. So this is a real waste already. These guys will slowly be cut down. It already looks majestic. Well, and hopefully the sub mod units balance quite well with the uh, five of Mordor, five not five of Mordor, five of Gondor uh, units. And uh, so far, it looks like they are. I mean, it is pikes versus spears, so I... Not pikes versus spears. Archers versus spears. So, I'm not expecting anything else. These Gondor infantry have good leaps. Or Dol Amroth infantry have good leaps. Look at that. Woo! Woo! Almost tripping off. Tripping as they fall off. Anyway, we've got more guys on... These... Uh, more guys on the wall this time uh, with no resistance. We have more on the wall over here now. 
Um, more Tarnus in spears. These ones are having to fight some archers. And these ones are pinned in a corner. They're just, I mean, the archers are doing quite well. And they're still shooting at point blank range. Jeez, these guys are gonna. These guys are gonna take some casualties. But as you can see in the background, we have some archers also firing off at uh, the town guard here. I mean, they're in shield walls, so it is gonna be pretty hard to inflict damage. I mean, look at the amount of arrows just like they've put, they've taken to the shields. Ridiculous. This guy, he's not messing around. More. Oh, there we go. Just, that guy didn't get his uh, shield up in time. And look what he gets. He gets an arrow in the eye. So, uh, like uh, Alfred. Not Alfred. What's his name? Harold Godwinson. That's it. From if you don't know your Battle of Hastings, then uh, you you won't get that. But you should. If you're into history, you probably know your Battle of Hastings. But we have, anyway, going back to fantasy and Middle Earth, we have um, some s militia now attacking some fishermen in the uh, in the town square. Uh, these guys, even though they're militia, they're going to make short work of these fishermen. They're at least slightly trained. These guys have literally been told to pick up a spear in the shield and uh, sent into battle. Um, should really use this other unit to probably flank around the militia, uh, try and encircle them. Would probably help, but I mean, I think they're a bit f worried about what's going to come down here off this wall because I mean, these uh, Lebanon archers won't last much longer against these Tarnation spears. I'm quite amazed that they've lasted this long. Also, they're spearmen, yet they've dropped. Many of them have dropped their. Uh... Oh no, I think there's some bows up here as well, actually. Yeah, some Tarnation marksmen have got involved in the fight. Um, they really need to get out of the fight and uh, need to get over here and do some do some shooting. Like these spears here, they could go in and fight instead of those of marksmen. Not quite sure why they are in there, but um, yeah, I'm quite impressed that these marine archers have lasted this long. There's 28 of them left. How are they not broken? They're pretty shaken, shaken but not stirred. There we go. Hopefully they will break soon. Hopefully they will break soon. Looks like the other unit of fishermen has pulled back to now defend this choke point because um, I don't really know. I guess they're just seeing that they're, they're losing this fight here. I mean, never so slightly they're losing this fight. We're sending in the trebuchet uh, units now to go and sacrifice themselves and get some honor. Maybe they'll be promoted to being proper soldiers. Though I'd rather be a trebuchet crewman myself because then you don't get cut down in battle, unless there's cavalry involved. And here we go, some more infantry coming up, some out, uh, some more militia. I'm loving this formation, I don't know. I mean, just coming through the gate in this formation, it's just quite satisfying. Here they come marching through, it's like they're almost, it's just like peacetime and they're just marching through after like a drill. But they're at war. They're having to put down a rebellion against their king. The loyal prince of Dol Amroth doing his bit. And here we go, we're taking the capture point. And this will certainly affect their morale. I don't know if they're going to stay here long. Nope, they're going to go straight in. And they're going to get some kills on these fishermen. And this is probably going to break them. And here we go, that'll be them. Gone. And we have captured the gates. Oh, and there we go, we're firing some, uh, we're firing some arrows. Already down on these fishermen. These poor fishermen that can't form uh, shield wall. So they're just getting uh, shot. Well, not shot to pieces yet. But, I mean, they've taken one casualty. Poor Barry. On the glowing floor for some reason. Because, apparently, Gondor has pure white floors. What's that uh, coming through the gate? I think there's some other the Nimrodel rangers. They're waiting to go in. What's going on, on the, over on the bridge? Has they Have they engaged? They have indeed engaged. A lot of skirmishes died as well. And there must have been from those archers. But I mean, we have uh, Sea Ward in, uh, infantry now involved. The spear, variant of the Sea Ward infantry. Um, again, these guys should probably break through these uh, town guard pretty quickly. They are going to be outclassed. But they are in shield wall at the town guard. So maybe they will uh, hold the ground for a little while. But it's unlikely, I'm sure. I mean, they've only lost 20. And there's two units of Sea Order Infantry. I don't know why they really sent two in. Just wearing out two perfectly good unit. Well, one perfectly good unit. And making it a target for all these Archer Towers. Really need to take this Archer Tower to just nullify um, their defences over here. But, I mean, this settlement looks awesome. I mean, it's a little bit... 
I mean, it is a little bit too bright, but I mean, it looks amazing with all like the Elven style buildings. It just looks awesome. I think it's called Callum Bell. If you guys want to check it out on, uh, on well, check it out yourselves and uh, have a play on it. it is I think it's called Callum Bell. Um, it's an excellent, excellent city. Really, really good. I might use it again for future battles or scenarios. Who knows? We'll see. But our men have rallied. Oh, it's the uh, the trebuchets. They, they felt like they might come back and have another fight. It seems like uh, Lebanon has mobilized the second unit of the fishermen, the brave fishermen, to go into battle after losing a couple of men. They've had enough and they're going to go in. And surround our uh, militia. But I don't think it should really affect our, our militia too much. But they have lost a lot of men. There is a lot of uh, Dol Amroth men on the, on the floor. But it surely is a matter of time before uh, the, the spearmen break. These archers, guys. I mean, they're still holding. These guys may hold off a couple of units. A small army, basically, to them. They're at least outnumbered, like, well, at least 10 to 1. Absolute heroes, and he's taken another. They've taken another name, or at least I think they have. That might be one of theirs. No, nah, it was one of theirs. Oh, it just made the odds even worse. These two having a duel of the. Look at this. Oh, if I can get the camera right. No. Oh God damn that! I just praised you, and now I'm gonna criticize you. I'm a hypocrite, apparently. I mean, there we go. We're having a great duel here, and there we go. Just as I say, they could hold off under small army. They break. And now these uh, spears are free to uh, free to come down. And I don't know why you're cheering. You've got a long bloody war uh, siege to uh, get yourself through. And half of you are knackered. And our men are breaking again. It's those trebuchets. But we did bring break one of the uh, fishermen units. They're now returning. It was the one that was surrounded. And now it's uh, just a couple of... Uh, Says this unit's losing. Wow, you're losing to these fishermen? Who are also losing. <laughs> but I mean, we'll have to see whether we can. Uh, well, we should be able to break through these guys. Now we have those other spears mobilized who are coming down just as I speak. Um, we should be able to encircle these guys and break them, unless they send up any more stuff. They have got more stuff back here. Is this more fishermen? Yeah, fishermen's but with swords. They think fishermen would own swords, but oh well, maybe they just handed them and said go out there and fight. They're used to fishing these shores. There's their boats that they would often go out on and fish. Let's see what else they've got. A town guard with swords. Anything really elite that we will need to worry about. Oh, more port guard with swords. Um, Lebanon archers. Town guard. It seems like a lot of town guard. These guys in shield wall, they look pretty nasty, though. They do look pretty nasty. Why he's shouting, I'm not quite sure. Um, let's see just what else they've got in defense. And they've also got some more town guard. There's a general back here, port guard, defending the, uh, the capture point. That is going to be rough to break through if they defend this. One choke point, and it's port guard. I might just have... Might have to just shoot them at point blank range. But here we go, we're breaking the units now. Um, at the gate and we have also now got an engagement here it seems like the units that were fighting up here against the archers have won and they're now coming down off the walls and they're now having to fight some town guard with spears over this capture well this capture point this tower here and uh, well just basically a nullify they're going to take a lot of casualties like I mean just every shot is going to kill one poor spearman down here because these archer towers are basically got snipers in them apparently according to uh, according to Attila but here we go more more fight this should be a this will be a slow slog because it's spears versus spears but there we go we should uh, I mean we should oh my gosh that poor guy it's not actually dying he took like a champ that's impressive but we should uh, we should break these guys eventually just with pure quality and it looks like we're firing arrows down that's actually quite a good place to shoot from not many of uh, the 
Tarnoshi marksmen firing. I think most of them are firing into... I don't know if the arrows are going through the building. No, I think the only ones have a clear shot, but they're also surrounded now by more militia um, who have been in a bloody fight since the beginning. Is that the officer? He actually looks quite cool. Um, but here we go. Some more militia now engaging. Actually, no, these are more Tarnos and Spears fighting more uh, fishermen. Should be able to deal with these guys with these. These are even like... This quality difference is now massive. Like, Tarnos and Marks... Uh, not Marksman. Spearmen are uh, basically... I think they're the second uh, best Spears Dol Amaroth can get. Which is not saying a lot. There is only three Spear units. This is the second best. So that's got to mean something. They're better than militia, but they're not quite Sea Ward infantry. But it does look like those... Wow! The fishermen have beaten the militia and are cutting them down with no mercy. That guy has uh, felt the wrath of some fishermen. As is this guy now. He's about to anyway. Yep, there he goes. Dead. Oh, gosh. Oh! Nice! Good kill, sir. Good kill. And there we go. These guys are breaking. And more... Oh, the trebuchet breaking. Okay, that's not, nothing amazing. Um, where did those militia go? Did those other militia break as well that were surrounding them? I think so. Yeah, oh, they broke them. Yeah, they're shaken but not stirred. They uh, broke for a little bit and then returned. But, I mean, they're getting some withering fire at these town guard from uh, up there. It's a great little spot. Just watching his... Like, you just... Mind your own business, fighting some Tarnus and Spears, and all of a sudden, bang, you're dead. Arrow to the chest. Another one there. Don't know where to put your shield now, do you, sir? You don't know whether to put it up to defend yourself from an arrow, or to uh, defend yourself from a spear. So here we go. This could be the... Uh, this could be the make. This guy's got an arrow and he got stabbed. So this could be the make or break. Now we may actually start to break these guys. Looks like they're sending back their port guard that were over here to defend. Not quite sure what the idea is there. There's a fire going on. Oh, I guess the ar arch tower. But, I mean, they do look like they're making a little bit of ground. I mean, you can see where the bodies were. Actually, no, I don't think they're making any ground. No, really not. They're still at the edge of the foot of this bridge. These guys may hold off a small army then. These brave town guard. They're like, you will not take our town. Our livelihood. Enemy units have been rallied. Enemy units have been rallied. Where have they rallied? Oh, some fishermen. Brave fishermen. Oh, okay. Well, there must have been a huge break here, um, allowing Dol Amroth to get around. This is why these port guard have returned, to defend the bridge here. So they couldn't get around the back and, uh, well, kill these guys. And it looks like they're sending in more um, sending in more guys to go and deal with these guys. There's archers in it and now Haven Guard. Wow. Um, Jeez. That's a lot of stuff. Um, there's still a bit of reserve. There are some cavalry and some uh, more Haven Guard. If need to be sent in. These are the elite of the elite, the Haven Guard. Let's see if we can see a few. I don't know. There's a, you're looking for guys with big swords. There you go. There's one. That guy there with a the big old sword. He's holding it around the blade for some reason, like an axe. But there you go. He does what he wants. He cuts his own hand. Uh, if I was uh, Lebanon, I would have surrounded these guys by now. You just... These town guard, surround them. Or surround the... Uh, what's his? Coastal Sea Watch. Pretty rubbish. Um, Tarnos and Spears are pretty beaten up. They'll probably break any moment. You want to surround these guys. Here they go. I think they're about to surround these guys. Um, yeah, here we go. Surrounded? No. Going to support in this fight here because they're being these uh, Spears being surrounded again. And Coastal Sea Watch are now going in to ha uh, have to turn around and deal with these guys. The clash of infantry. Oh, love it every time. Two bodies of infantry just clashing. Nothing better. Maybe cavalry running down infantry. But I mean, infantry versus infantry. The grind. It's just something about it. It's always, always amazing.
What's coming in? What's coming in now for reserves? You have some Sea Ward infantry. These guys are probably the, yeah the main infantry. Looking very similar to Gondor infantry, but possibly, and some people might disagree. I think they look a lot better. I mean, look at those those swords, man. Look at that sword. This guy means business. I mean, there's a lot of them as well, and we've got the Coast Guards now appearing. Um, and there we go. The spears are breaking. These goddamn port guard and these infantry are losing. This coastal sea watch. No surprise, in fairness. These coast, co I want to call them coast guard <laughs> for some reason. Why am I calling them? Putting the coastal sea watch and the port guard together to make the coast guard. Um, but the port guard are absolute machines. These guys, I mean, they don't, they don't mess around. And I'm having to send in some, uh, some pikes or some halberds to deal with them. I think these guys are called Coast Guards, aren't they? Yeah, these guys. Princess Coast Guards. This is where I was thinking. When I was saying Coast Guard. Here we go. Mobilize them. Send them forward. Little stabby stab. If you can't kill them face to face, we'll have to kill them with a few long pikes. And they'll eventually get into the fight. Probably should... Or should we should have just shot them with arrows. That would be a better idea. Just think. Oh, here we go. There's already a push up here as well. These are, I think, uh, since so much has been going on, I've just been looking. And um, these archers were on the wall, shooting uh, directly at these guys. As you can see, not really sure uh, why the coast uh, the coast guard. I've said it again. Port guard fell back. They didn't actually lose any men. Obviously, it was probably hurt damage in their armor being shot by all those archers. But um, they've run out of ammo for the sake of trying to damage these guys, and they've fallen back here to avoid being shot. And they're now being pressured in by some uh, Tarnos, and Sp Tarnos and Spears and some Sea Ward Sword Infantry. And they've only lost two men. So, in theory, they're winning this battle. For God's sake, these Port Guard are insane. But now we're starting our barrage of the archers back here. I mean, look at these guys. These are bloodied up. They're taking a little hammering from my own archers. I think it's the Nimrodel Rangers finally unleashing their... Uh, they are their arrows, and we're already engaging their uh, second line of in, uh, second line of defense. Really, um, we have some Lebanon town guard now fighting out against some uh, sea ward infantry. At this point, Dol Amroth is just thinking. Well, my, myself playing as Dol Amroth was like, I just need to attack as many places as possible and uh, try and just kill as many of these men as possible. It's nearly a uh, entire thousand difference now. We're killing off a lot of his men. Um, and we are stretching his defenses and here we go. These guys are finally broken. These town guard are actually harder to break than you think. I was like, oh town guard, these will be easy. Walk over. No, not the case. They are tough. Or tougher than expected. They're actually going they're going toe to toe in a choke point with my seaward infantry. I need I'm having relying on pikes at the moment and uh, flanks to really uh, make the difference and as you can see here these pikes are uh, they're doing some damage down to these uh, to these uh, port guard they've not killed many but they're starting to kill them it's a start but they are getting quite close I mean we are losing a few of our own I don't know how many we're losing actually we lost oh no we haven't lost as many as I thought we lost about 8 or 9 which is still not great you're using your halberd wrong you fool you've got to use it like a pokey boy could really do have done with some fountain guard I know Dol Amroth doesn't have any but so awesome pike unit. Just have a little bit extra range. And here we go. In we go. We're sending in the Sea Watch infantry. We're going up against some more town guard in shield wall with spears. This is going to end badly. And there we go. Another clash of infantry. There's going to be a lot more to come. Oh, there's a little duel going on back here. I know we're missing a, a big old fight, but here I want to see this one. This officer. And actually, I was saying our Haven Guard are the most elite units that we have. We have um, some more elite units, and they do look very similar to the officers. They are back here somewhere. Dismounted Knights of Imrahil. Here we go. These guys, these guys are what are going to be needed um, if the going gets tough. They are insane. I love these guys. I mean, they are basically like the Swan Knights, just dismounted, and they look awesome. Their armor just looks amazing. Just the breastplates and everything. Whoa. And here we go. The prince back here. He's he's like, well, I'm going to take this town. I'll either keep it for myself. 
and expand my realm, or we'll put a loyal lord in charge. Get rid of these bastard rebels. And so Haven Guard protecting him in reserve. We've got a few reserves there. We've got some more Knights of Imrahili. I think we've got two units, so if, need, if needs be, these guys will be sent in. We've got some pikes. Where are they? Oh my gosh! They're breaking to these poor guards. They're not even... They've lost... And since we last left, they lost one more guy. Like, seriously, guys, these guys are insane. If I have to fight, I don't know, an army of these guys, GG. There's no way I can beat them. I'm going to need... I would need two armies. One filled with pikes, possibly, and one filled with... Um, or halberds, and one filled with archers. Or cav, possibly. Half archer, half cav, and then an entire army of pikes or halberds. Because they seem to be the only effective way of killing these goddamn guys. Or maybe some really elite swords, like those dismounted Imrahil, uh, Knights of Imrahil. I'm sure they can probably do a lot of damage. Smartly, um, Lebanon player has gone into... Um, oh, what were you called? Loose formation, that's it. I was thinking sparse formation. I was like, no, that's not right. Um, but here we go. We are going... To, we are coming to the late stages. Oh, there we go. I was wait, waiting for a volley. Seeing we've got him, that poor chap. Steve! You feeling okay? Steve's just having a lie down. It's okay, guys. Like I'm child friendly. Showing off copper would have a field day if this was child friendly. This is violence. A lot of violence. These port guard now be mobilized, so I mean, any chance of breaking through here is gone. These guys just will be holding. I mean, they have lost eight actually. They've lost quite a few. Make that oh, another two there. So I mean, they are actually maybe the Sea Ward infantry are going to do some work against them. I mean, those ones over there aren't. They are losing, I think. But okay, they've lost another three since they arrived. So those pikes. But I mean, they are running out of stuff. These town go town guard with their swords nearly gone. Um, I think. No, they've. Oh, huge! The bridge has been lost. The bridge has been lost. They're not even going to look the right way as they get executed by these guys. I mean, look at all these guys. They are knackered. They are actually knackered. And now they have to fight again. These Haven Guard. It's like, good God. What have we had to fight for here? Look at all the bodies. And this was all over a bridge. For a, just a peasant town, really. Just to take it. And there's only three units in. They were very cheap, but they could hold it. And it was... Wow, what a hot... What a, I'm actually amazed that they held this long. What a stand. And there they go. I think they're broken. So now, they can uh, encircle these um, port guard, which are actually losing decisively now. Um, but they can encircle these guys now, and that, that will be huge. I mean, these Amrothian arch militia used all their ammo, then came in and uh, started fighting, and have lost nearly half their unit just to take a goddamn bridge. Yeah, you, you cheer, guys. You actually have done something quite good. You basically completed your mission. Now they're like, after cheering, they're like, oh, God. Got to carry on fighting. And, they've got to, and they realize they have to go up against Port Guard. Who are just still taking names. I mean, this this pike unit is actually like... Yeah, it's nearly at half strength. Even these halberds aren't killing them off quick enough. These guys are insane. And now we're sending in our uh, Nimrodel rangers to kill these guys. I don't know if I have any archers left. I think I may have used up all my ammo. Oh no, I've got some Tynosian marksmen left. With about half ammo. No, a little bit more than that. Um, Two thirds ammo. So I've only got one unit left with ammo. Not great, and I used the, actually my um, most elite archers first. Or, well not first, but I didn't save them to last. Quite a large engagement going on over here. Um, and I think the plan is to try and get this unit through that gap. Um, and try and encircle one of these. But I then see that he anticipated it. And has brought up another unit to kind of just fill this gap. He's not going to send it in yet, but he knows, he knows if I try it, then... Uh, then he's got me covered. But I realize that you can go through this graveyard. Very sneaky little play here. I was like, I'll just keep this unit in reserve, you know. Just play it off like I'm not doing anything. 
And in they go. The officer gives the command, and in they go. There's going to be a lot more graves needed after this fight. But he's realised that uh, he's going to have to defend the spot, so he's having to pull back a unit. That unit that was uh, he'd sent, he just sent it in, actually, that third unit of town guard. And he's out to bring it back, and here we go. We're going to fight in the graveyard, and they're going through the wall. Very strange. But now he's got pressure on this flank, and he's now running out of troops to uh, to hold. He's now actually out of reserves in this area, so I'm sending my cav round. And just like that, um, I didn't show it because I thought that was kind of a key part of the battle. This, um, but the port guard have died. But here we go. We have cavalry. Where are they? Where are these goddamn cav? Here they are. Knights of the Silver Swan. They're getting ready, and they're going to go. Round here. He's seen it and he's desperately trying to get this town guard unit over there. His one of his reserve units. He's desperately trying to just like cut these cav off, but he's not gonna get there in time. We're on horses. I mean the pathfinding's a bit janky, but we're gonna get it. And here we go. Let's get a good view of this. Watch as these cav come down the street. Oh my gosh, I would be scared. I'd be looking around. He's he's turning units around trying to deal with it. God, here we go. In, oh god, your house, stupid house. Ruining the, my view and my immersion. And then we're cutting these guys down. And I think these guys are losing decisively. He is bringing his sword units. So I'm going to quickly run through. We are breaking these guys. Um, need to start running through these guys. And there we go. They're, this unit certainly is just running straight through. I think we're going to go for the archers now. A good another target to go for. Yep, yeah, and there you go, they're breaking. We're able to send in the, uh, what is this? Are these dismounted knights of Imrahil in here? Oh god, we sent in the knights of Imrahil. Wow, it must be, we must be running out of troops. How are these guys still holding over here? I'm not even lying. They've not, they've just got under 100. I mean, they're being well supported by archers, in fairness. Um, I think it's these archers back there. Yeah, those ones obstructed, but they're actually doing quite well. And now he's... Defending this area with town guards so the cavalry can't return, but he's condemning his archers and everyone here. These swords are going to break now. The port guard finally wavering after being surrounded. So cavalry actually is a great way to get rid of these guys. Um, have to remember that for future battles. So I'm sure that Lambden will bring some. And there's also so the Lebanon field army is still kicking around. Um, but I mean, they may just surrender now that they've lost their city. They may just call it a day and surrender. You'll have to find out in the third part what happens. We do with this is uh, being prepared. But, I mean, there we go. The port guard gone. Will these cavalry just charge into these ones? I would have thought so. Towns, town guard. I thought they'd just finish them off. They might just send in. Might just send in infantry. Oh no, the cavalry are going. Where are they going for? They're going for. Oh, they're going for the capture point. Going for the capture point. Um, I mean, they've got some port guard. They're gonna have to try and get through first. Uh, yeah, gonna have to stop there. Oh, right at the last minute. Right at the last minute, it got away. Very well done. But yeah, now they have, well, basically everything beyond those port guard is condemned. It's kind of come down to that. What well, we're sending in some Haven Guard. It's gonna be some Haven Guard are gonna have to take out these guys now. These, this unit here has probably killed about. Yeah, there you go. You kill him. Cut him down. Yes. I mean, the, what I was saying is this unit, I think, has killed about three or four units of its own. It's taken three or four units, plus the stuff here, to kill this unit. And they're not even like in a strategic position. I'm literally you have to keep sending units here just to pin it down, so they don't harass me in the rear. And there you go, another unit breaking. These guys are insane. They're only like double chevron bronze, and I don't even know, they probably gained them chevrons like fighting today. They're, weren't like initially there and there we go a huge route as we send in the cavalry throughout all this stuff here I mean some of this stuff like Tarnosian spears have been fighting since the beginning of the fight jeez they've seen a lot of action and there we go it's just an absolute cluster of uh, Dol Amroth units now and they're just running through the streets cutting stuff down there's not much left it is coming down to uh, well to these swords Basically, and this spear unit here, for some goddamn reason, they're still holding. Let's go and watch this. I think this is like the last real solid stand by Lebanon in the outer part of the uh, outer part of the city. It's now come down to the citadel. So I'll give this a watch.
the units are just so goddamn beautiful. Having watched The Lord of the Rings as well recently, I am very much in the Middle Earth mood, so I'm so glad I'm doing this battle. I'm so glad that we have Rise of Mordor. What are we sending now? Oh, these are pikes still here. Well, they're not really doing a lot. They need to kind of really get in a bit more. They're not quite long enough. They're just out of range. There we go. What's left? Not much. It's just a final assault now on the uh, on the general and some archers, which I presume have run out of ammo. Have they run out of ammo? Because otherwise, that's a waste. Let's have a little bit left. I would have probably used up every arrow I could have. Just kill as many of Dol Amroth's army as possible. Well. Let's see. Can they hold? I'm going to bet no. Um, it's a safe bet, to be honest. I mean, looking at the, what's behind them, that's, uh, well, setting up. We've got some dismounted Imrahil. We've got all sorts. We've got cavalry, more archers without ammo. And with ammo. I think there's those Tarnosi marksmen still have ammo. So these guys are, uh, they're pretty doomed. Did that spear unit break yet? No. They're just starting to lose their combat as well decisively. Look at all the units that are now committed just to like in the area. Ridiculous. I think the idea was to send in all the uh, pretty beaten up units first. I mean there is some Knights of Imrahil in there I think. Actually no I don't know that might just be an officer. Yeah I think that's just an officer. Um, I mean this unit is pretty fresh. Maybe go give the attack a bit more backbone with a fresh unit. But, I mean, yeah, sending everything that's beaten up first, and then we'll send in the fresh stuff for a weakened enemy. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the battle and uh, the content at the moment. Um, I try, and we're very close to getting to 1,000 subs. I'll just say this while uh, while we're watching. Um, so, if you haven't already subscribed and uh, you, wanna, you want to... Uh, see more of my uh, content, please do subscribe and let's try and get to that uh, that first sort of uh, landmark of a thousand subs leave a comment if there's anything that you want to see, if you want to see more Rise of Mordor scenario battles then uh, let me know or if there's like a historical battle in uh, Rise of Mordor you want me to do or maybe just a historical battle maybe like Pope, I want to see more Crusaders killing Muslims or English fighting French, I don't know, or maybe you want to see more Gondor Civil Wars. There should, what? How are you? That's a brave thing to do just to shoot at someone at point blank range instead of using a sword. Don't know if you saw that. I mean, the archers have got their bows out again. They're going to try and reuse all that last bit of ammo by the looks of it. Yeah, that guy there, he just attempted it again. But then he's been attacked. There we go, some Coast Guard dying. Well, not Coast Guard, Port Guard. I'm going to do that for the rest for the rest of the uh, mini-series. I know that. Finally! Flipping finally, this unit dies. And there's actually not that many bodies on the ground. But so many units died. I mean, I think they're just hidden in the grass, really. Yeah, there's a lot of bodies, actually. But, the yeah, I should better get an aerial view. But, I mean, yeah, look at all them. All for... One flipping unit, which wasn't even really a problem, like, strategically, where it was, wasn't actually necessary, but it just needed to be held back. So it didn't, like, when I was doing this, or, like, attacking earlier in these choke points, I didn't just encircle me and then break some of my units with their super elite armor and, like, well, just unit. And now they're going to hold this choke point. And now it's just throw everything in we have, I think, at this point. I'm now just thinking, well, Haven Guard and Pikes break these things. So I'm going to send in some Haven Guard and some Pikes. I mean, I've not got many Pikes left. This is what's left of my Pikes from fighting the p other Coast Guard. Uh, Coast Guard. They're the Coast Guards. Fighting the Port Guard. This is what's left. These guys have seen a lot of action themselves. God, they look beautiful in their blue. But here we go, Haven Guard going forward with their heavy heavy swords, they're gonna break some shields and some armor. 
what they're good at. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem like the normal infantry is doing enough damage. They're getting matched by these port guard. And we're getting around the sides. Oh, stupid building. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah, just killed another pikeman. Or halberdier. They're flipping useless, you know, those halberdiers. Flipping useless. Now he's... They, they're on the offensive. Look at that, you see that? I don't know if you did. They actually move forward. These guys... Insane. Oh, nice little beheading there. Of course, it's a flipping pikeman that dies. I need you guys. You just see, like, a little pike poking out, or, like, a little halberd poking out. And they're pulling back. The port guard are pulling back. Okay. Okay, I guess they're pulling back to this choke point over here. Thinking that would be a better spot to hold. Maybe they don't think they can hold this anymore. It does require less men to hold that one than this one. But these Lebanon archers have been left for dead now. And it's going to just be a storm through. Dol Amros not even been caring. They're just going to move on past. These archers aren't even worth it. They're just not going to let them get through. Oh, he's holding this spot. Interesting spot to hold because... Might be able to just destroy this and get around them. Might be able to get over the walls. I'm not sure. I don't think you can make, well, I don't know if the walls are actually there or if they're just there for like aesthetics. Might as well be able to just walk through here. But uh, in they go, and they've kind of engaged. You could possibly sneak some stuff around here. But uh, we'll see. The art shoot is just about broken. They're down to just under 100 men. It's ever so close. Ever so close. They are starting to die quite quickly, though. There's more of them dying now. And it's nice to Imrahil in here, so... And the Haven Guards. These guys are gonna... Gonna do some damage to them, so I can see why they're starting to die quite quickly. And Cavs in here now. Don't even care. And there we go, a close victory. They break just like that. It took some very elite units to break them in the end. So that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need to put these guys up against the best of the best. Or soften them up with arches or something. But uh, well, let's have a look at the end results quickly uh, before we wrap up this battle. So, Dol Amroth was victorious and will go on to uh, probably help fight in the uh, great battle against Lambden and uh, their allies if they get any more. That may be a hint at uh, a future battle and what is to come. But anyway, let's have a look at some of these results. I mean, it looks like the Knights of the Silver Swan getting 223 kills and 132. Probably one of the better units that did, uh, did quite well there. Um, getting all those encirclements earlier on in the, or well, midway through the battle, um, really turning the tide and, well, quickening the pace of the battle. I mean, went from a pretty good stand by uh, Landon to a, uh, or not Landon, Lebanon, to a almost, well, not a rout, but a desperate defence. But um, the Pikes not doing so well was a bit disappointing. I mean, this one did okay, nearly getting 100 kills. They were, but they were able to hold them at bay. There was more elite units, and that was what we wanted. Tarnusian Spearmen. This one not doing great. I think this one had the, the challenge going up against the fresh spear port guard, which God would not break. Um, but I mean, most of them doing okay, getting like 120 kills. 205 Coastal Sea Watch. Wow. Who are they fighting then? They must have, I mean, they must have been fighting some lower tier stuff um, to have gotten so many kills. Um, Haven Guard getting 174. This one, I think, was the one that was fighting on the bridge and basically did a lot of uh, slogging through all that. So well done to them. Uh, CU Ward, uh, Sword Infantry, doing pretty standard, doing quite well. Um, and Dismounted Knights of Imhill, uh, this one did okay. This one, didn't, I don't think, got much action. But, I mean, obviously they're very elite and they, they're going to do some damage to get put in there. Um, and these Amrothian Archers, which are actually is probably, like, the most surprising result. 152 kills um, for an Archer Militia unit. It's pretty impressive. Um... But yeah, let's have a quick look at uh, Lebanon. Lebanon did pretty well. Port Guard, surprise, not surprising. Getting a lot of kills. Uh, 112 kills for this sword unit here. I think this is the one that was on the bridge. This is um, probably the one, 84 is probably the one that was in like, the second layer defense. The general, uh, they ain't been the only sort of unit with anything left. Where are those spear, Port Guard? Is this them here? Yeah. 169 kills. Yeah, quite a lot. In the end, <laughs> um, and some arch uh, Lebanon archers getting 152 is their other really well good one. Um, everything else kind of just did a pretty average and uh, held the line for as long as possible. I mean, these guys didn't get many kills, did like the town guard, but they were just actually quite just resilient and were able to hold me up for quite a long time, make lengthening the battle. 
Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment if you've uh, got any, rec any recommendations for battles or is anything you want to see. And anyway, until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.